What's up, YouTube? I'm back with a kind of an addition to the T45 video that I put out a couple months back. I had a pretty good response on that video. Um, and uh, I wanted to add this section that a guy named Dan Peters put together. Uh, he messaged me through Facebook and let me know that he had found the correct way to pull this reverse fork off because I had struggled quite a bit with that. Uh, it had been many years since I had messed with that transmission. And so I'm going to go ahead and include this guy's video. It's wonderful. And it shows you how to quickly and easily get that reverse fork off, which will be uh, especially good because a lot of people have only reverse issues and getting this fork off easily uh, would greatly speed up the process. So here we go. All right, removing the reverse fifth shift fork. Inside we got our shift rail. Um, that will rotate up into this other little shift arm inside there. Uh, Rotates up into that slotted hole that activates fifth and reverse. So let's slide that back out. Let's come around to this side. This is the fifth reverse shift fork. Let's see if I can get that on there. securing your transmission is also a wise idea so that'll sit on there just like that captures both sliders and you take your rail get it through the hole Get it rotated, and there's a uh, slot right here, or a uh, a hole for a a dowel pin, not a dowel pin, a split pin. You line that up with that. If you're lucky, you don't smash your finger. Removal would be opposite. 